Shrecha v'tzav lecha. Eli, we've got the the Eli Chavusa, and also we've got our beautiful Sefer, the Beninim. We're, we're chapter twenty-five. We're around Chaf uh, Zion, twenty-seven for Shvat to the Chitas. The in between us is back. In betweeners. Thank Performing you, Rabbi Chaim Miller, for his hard work. We got live. a big thumbs up from. Uh, from the Rabbonim here about the Sefer, and so it's yeah. good you, you can leave it here, maybe. I'll, I'll look after it. I might even look at it myself. Mm. But um, then one of the Nakudas that came up, we're trying to organize a, a Nissan Black event. I haven't advertised it yet, but we're going to bring him hopefully uh, during the 10 days of Juba, Erev Yom Kippur, when he gets mm. back from Oman. He'll come back with a lot of energy. Oh, he's, he's being Oman? Yeah, Charles Sakao just sent me a picture of him with Nissan in, in New York. Funny enough, like just I got the picture last night. Yeah. And, uh, they're two guys who I, you know, do a lot for or with. So it's just funny they met each other in Satchmai yesterday. So everything's Ashkacha Pratis, divine flow. And we want to just keep up the inspiration. So one of the challenges we've had, and this one talks this and Black talks about this very strong, is the, the power of Tshuva, the power of Tefila, the power of Rots and and not allowing yourself to God forbid in any way get stuck. In um, in a, in a feeling of you know, Ella, one of the things the Yitzhar, the literature the yeshiva she Yitzhar I had when I first came to Israel the first few years in yeshiva was the Yitzhar of Atzvus during this time of getting yeah. sad, <coughs> of feeling so broken, broken. Now there's a broken heart, but the, we're going to learn in Tanya, broken heart's a good thing. Yeah, uh-huh. depression is a bad thing. Yeah, anything sad to do with sadness, Atzvus, is a bad thing. Yeah. So we have to, uh, in the Hasidus, is actually the, it's called the the biggest sin you can do. I don't know if you've ever heard the Loshan. It's, I think the Kalana says it. Like the, the biggest sin a Yid can do, especially a Chosid, is, is allow himself getting into depressed. Mm. Yeah, Rabbi, I mean, Rabbi Nachman talks about it. Also, yeah, Rabbi Nachman. A lot. So, uh, but it, the, the Loshan, I think, is what, what would you say? How do you say it again? Like, Vera, not a very good dollar, like the Aveyavis of Tuma is, is depression. Right? Mm. That's the Loshan. <clears throat> Like with the Kasi doing good. So we you know, Khasidis we want to focus on Asitov. It's Gaba Ka'ari Bagavura Va Omit Salev. To strengthen himself like a lion with might and determination of heart. That's what we have to do every day. This whole Khadish. Give ourselves some chizik, encouragement, strengthen ourselves. Yeah, there's Gaba yeah, it's Ka'ari like a lion. And when you look at lions, have you seen them yawning ever? You seen them? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> they're pretty sleepy, but when it comes down to it, when they really need to do their voter, they're, they're, they're strong. That's why we say Kagaba Ka'ari. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's, it doesn't mean the, the, the yawning part, it's the other part, when they're like being scab on their enemy or, or the animal or protecting their tribe or whatever. And they're going to yates uh, against evil nature. And the Chabinet's good for what happens to the It tries to make you heavy. Weigh you down with with things to do, yeah. Mm. Like, you know, another Masada Panim, another this or that. Yeah. <laughs> yet it tries to get you feel heavy about life. The Maplo love at lazy about going to the Masada Panim. Yeah, but my my new one is uh, is right now our, our Yunkus isn't working. You know the gas thing. Oh. So we've got no hot water. I mean, having like a cold plunge every day. Oh, the Milo sure. is it wakes you up. Yeah, that's but good. The the problem is that your body starts to, especially as it's getting colder, starts to shake and shiver. And yeah, you know, you need sometimes you need just a hot shower, a little hot. The mapu, I love atzla and cast over him a sloth. You know, that's the eights of a mikvah because then you know you're guaranteed a hot shower. Can you say the alpha fish of behemoths, which turns to the element of earth as an animal soul? We learned this concept before, but basically, the Indian of offer is is part of the dali disorders of a person and it weighs him down. Interesting. And if you've had that feeling, I've tasted what it feels like when you're really tired and you're really going through a hard time, you, 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 you almost feel like you're dying. It's a horrible feeling. Yeah. Have you ever had it? Of course. It's close to the concept of depression. Maybe it's a chemical right. thing, basis for us. I'm not, I'm not a therapist, psychologist, or psychotherapist. But what right. I do know is that that feeling I've had is for me one of the yeah. most allergic feelings. Like I do not want right. that feeling. And when I have it, it's I, I need to sure. From the beginner of your soul of offer. Yeah. Comes from the, uh, the be nefes, uh, uh, Bahamas. Yeah, from the, the animal. Now, the, the good thing about the tan is it's facing this concept. It's not saying being an angel. We mentioned this the other day. You have to be real. You have a nefesh Bahamas. What does he say there? It doesn't say much. It just was a lazy, laziness stemming from the animal soul's element of earth. 
Yeah, okay. So what will we just say? Right. Oh, we said earlier, right, we said earlier that there is the elements of... Fire, right, wind, fire, wind, water, and earth. Right, earth. These are the Dalits. What's interesting is we Man's live here... We live here in a Chavron, which is uh, oh, so we're we're the actually in the middle. Of no, the way they explain frat right. is a frata is Bedera Chavron is is uh, in between Yushalayim and a frat. That's so we have fire and earth. So we have far enough exactly. That's so good. so that's a good thing. We have the Aish, which we're talking about here, the fire, the Slavas, the Ari, like the, the energy. That's but we also are grounded. We're not flying off like right. in Svat. When you're in Svat, it's floaty boaty. I love it. Yeah. So it's like air, which could be great if you're flying in the higher realms and able to right. draw down the light. And the problem is, you fly too much. Yeah. <laughs> you, that's why Svat has a lot of these. You know, more hippie kind of hippie, yeah. very floaty, like you know, type of people. It's also why it, so it's, I don't know. If this is the truth from a, from a census, but I was told that Afrat is uh, is one of the poorest cities in yeah, Israel. I mean, it makes sense. The place is, but it, maybe it's also to do with the etzim. Yeah, but yeah, you know, etzim that it's because it's avir, so people aren't so yeah. No one's like motivated. Yeah. On, yeah. Maybe it's a bit like you know I've heard I was talking to some places in America like that as well. Where it's very nice weather and nice beaches. And yeah, it's, it's hard to get motivated to grind. No, oh, and I remember like Miami Beach for years was like that. You'd show yeah. up and everyone just smoking kind of, and people just like show yeah. up to work late and they just. Like, Dalia fights it all the time. He's always talking about it. Dalia fence. In New York, it's like the hustle and the moving and the going and he like, praises that Nakuda Kadalia. Like he says, that there has to be a balance, obviously. Right, but. He likes to go to New York just once in a while just to get like that Like Miami fire. is like people just like wake up, they wear shorts. In New York, like you're up at 7 a.m. and you're going. The point here is you've got to bring it to Kedusha. Yeah, you've got to bring Yusha Light. The fire for Kedusha, the, the being grounded. Here in Afrat, everything's very Masuda, very grounded. But you don't want to get to that. If you get too grounded, yeah. then the hearing, you start to get like like heavy and right. then everything that's what happens to me and so one of my new inyanim for this year is every at least once a week I go to Yerushalayim yeah, but Baish. and just pick I need some fire my yeah, soul Balagan, fire. my soul needs needs the, yeah. the, the, the the fire from Yerushalayim yeah. and so I go at least once a week I go to a coffee shop I'll work from there I'll that's just walk idea. around just, just be in Yerushalayim. I like coffee just, being over there in Jaffa. Is this place, place in, in in Baca? That's oh, Baca. if you really like coffee. My my uh, daughter lives there now. It's in the Kat- best coffee. In She's living there. Is the best coffee, probably in Israel. Yeah. Okay, so Matriya Kufa Bezrizas. We call me Nei Torah, but by the master, by the Hashem. Let's get some energy. Yeah. This laziness prevents from exerting his body energetically with every type of effort and strain in the service of Hashem and entails effort and toil. I was talking about this yesterday, I looked at my run. That the Torah is to be osakin. It's not it's not like a hobby, it's not intellectual, it's not, it's not right. just some academic whatever. It's 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 an ace. You gotta like, like you have it, to sweat. Yeah, you schwitz over your business, schwitz over your Torah. It's, you it's, gotta worry. It's Omel, I mean, you must have heard the shmuz. Yeah, That's the good shmuz from Yeshiva. Amelus batoire. But what's the what mother of my Rebbe always add? And whenever he talks about Pajid Bukha he says a Amelim batoire. He always says that the Indian of Amelim has to come together with Kisava, which is Simcha. Right. Pajid Kisava, because they both come before the, the Yom Tov. Right. The Chokot side before Shavuos, so everyone's like, Amelim batoire. And then comes Rosh Hashanah, and we have Pajid Kisava, which is about Simcha. What, why? Because if we don't serve Hashem with Simcha, we get all these problems. Right. When we serve with Simcha. So the Torah has to be done with Simcha, and it's an equalizer in mm. the sense that if you put effort into it, that That's is what right. the Torah wants. It's not, and it, with joy, with joy, with open heart. And with your effort, you got to be doing it from a state of Simcha. Otherwise, it just yeah. becomes too heavy. A, a, a box checking. I burnt out when I did push too hard and yeah, yeah, no, same here. I, have, I've, I had times when I was younger. Sure, sure. It was just I would I would I would learn twelve hours a day, but I was like I ended up frying myself out. I wrote a song called Simcha, which was yeah. all about this challenge. Wow! And, uh, I mean, it has other aspects in it. It's also about Yushalayim. It's a, it's a lot of things. The fire sometimes can get too much. That's one of the reasons why yeah. I'm happy to have a little break from Yushalayim right now. Yeah, right for sure. You, you're there too much and too much for yeah. I take a little bit of it. You go on the but Torah but Ian. So he's he's the Balatani is telling you. Exactly the Lashem we were just saying, Sad Shmaya, 
to ah, Omo in Torah but Ian. This uh, is something you seem like you have a new nitir towards Ian yeah, in Torah. You, you spent a long time with it and your mind is built that way. I did not like uh, um, uh, I can say that Bikias. Yeah. Bikias, fast learning, yeah. Uh, Bikias was not my Indian. I would do be Ian all you're, day. You're a Bian man. I, I've always sensed that with learning. Yeah, when I learned to Bikias in Yeshiva, I would just stop and then I just did be Ian. It felt a bit too super, superficial. It yeah? was like very superficial. We were like flying through sugas and I was like. You weren't up in the actual. I was like, we're, we're just saying words. We're not even. Yeah. We don't even know. We're, like, which is why I, I was never able to do the Dafiomi. I was like, this feels like we're down in Psuka de Zimra. Sure, sure. We're like flying through. Ka- even this, the pace that we go in feels at times should be fast. Like, I can, oh, really? Yeah. You can slow me down. You've got this book here. With no, I'm saying, but like, it's really like slow, slow and like, I like to like. Look, we, we, like we started, word. our original Chavusa started in, in February or January, yeah. Tavis or something like that. So we're already now near the end of the year. It's pretty amazing. And we've covered a lot of Lakutamaran, yeah. which I'm still doing, thanks to you. I'm already by yeah, Torah 35. Lakutamaran is too heavy for me. It Torah like... 35 in your service. Ah. And, that, and we've covered some others as well. And now I'm in a, a chapter 25 with you in Tanya. And this has been a continuous project, you know, so I really appreciate it. He's prepare. Yeah. Keep going. So he says, what, what, with your mouth, I'm a but in prepare. Remember, it has to be not just with deep, deep, deep. This is a very important point. It's not just that you're learning Torah deep, but you actually verbalize it. Yeah, yeah. Because it says, Lord Pasek Bepumia Megirsa, famous Chazal from a Masech of the Zohar, I think. Right. That his mouth will never cease from what? From Torah like study. You go into yeshivas, you see here the kids like singing, they'll sing the learning. Call Torah. They just sing it, they say it out loud. But thank you, Hashem. When I first came to Frat two year, more than two years ago, or was it more than two? Actually, a bit less than two years ago. This base measure wasn't functioning. Wow. So we used to dub in, I don't even remember. I think it just opened as I came, literally, the day I came or something. But there was no Swarim, nothing. There was no hardly anyone learning here. We just did Bukoshi had a minion. And, you know, look at this. We've got Machan, we've got people learning, talking, in Torah, we have a kolo. Shirim, we have a kolo. Adapt a kolo. All day there's learning going on. Kamar, Rizal, La'olam, Yasim, Odam, Atzma, Odiv, Torah, Kishor, La'ol, Kachamor, Lemasui. As our sages have said, a man should always submit to what? The words of a Torah, like ah, the Mops. Yeah, this is getting a bit yeshiva yeah, <laughs> to the yoke as an asalo. But remember, we're learning this with Derek Hasidus. So yeah. with Hasidus, there's a sweetness. The right. sweetness is that it's, it's not a scary thing. Like, tshuva's not something scary. And it's not, it's not, and Torah is not something which is like heavy. It, remember, he already got, he dealt with the heaviness before. He says it has to be with Zuizus. With a simcha, but actually, like, it has to be like a labor yeah? Yeah. It's not, it, it's not like a... Well, yeah, these are deep concepts also. These aren't just, you know... Yeah, and, and really, it's the only way we can really feed our soul is through learning. Like, it's, it's just, just, this is how it is. Right. Uh, it's not going to happen. Any, I, I see how hungry, when my son comes home, he just wants, from the army, he wants a bit of toy. He wants, wants to learn. He came to the Shalasid by Shlomo. Right. He was hungry for that experience, you know? I mean, yeah, we, we, could, like, we could delve in to this whole idea of like why is what does it mean a, 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 an ol yeah. a, of a shar and a chamor of a, of a masui, masui. Yeah. two different aspects so two the, different ox, aspects, but, uh, the ox is carrying a yoke to plow the yoke. land so right. the way you learn is connected to that pasuk in, in Shiramalas we say on benching the, and also Shiramalas when we dumb to him the idea that that we're planting with tears, meaning it takes uh-huh. a lot of your gear, a lot of effort. It's difficult. It's not horrible. It's not. It's not. It's not. God forbid, a bad experience, but it's painful. It's, right. It takes effort, but you plant, but that's and that's the, the thing with the a, yoke, an ox, and then you harvest with joy. But then, then ox, you get if you shut. think about it, an ox, when an ox is working, it's not in a state of like stress. No. It's not it a isn't. state. Of stress. This is like its that's essence. That's hundred percent correct. When we take an ox out to the field and we start plowing it. Uh, I think Baruch Hashem today we have uh, we have tractors, which yeah. by the way, there's a lot of inyanim to that. Like I'm sure, I'm sure we we replaced the work of an ox with a tractor. Machines. And I'm sure, and yeah. as a as a result, the ox that we have today is no longer like the ox we used to have. The right. families of oxes. Right, right. You know, which is probably why the quality of meat and the quality of food that we well, eat is. Remember, remember, the shore is one of the, the animals from the makava. Yeah? Right. So it has a big kedusha, and there's a whole 
Torah or, uh, of Chodesh Iyar, right. which is the mazal of Ashur. And I never forget Rav Simaya one time started talking about the, the all of, of, of the Torah and Ashur. And he has his spodic, and I felt like there was horns coming out of his spodic. Oh and, and the way he was like wow. bending over during Shalasudas and talking about this all of Torah that, that you started to experience. Fire. I felt like he was this like fiery black ox standing there, like fire firing sauce. away, cocking away the all of Torah. Yeah. <laughs> I was talking about him yesterday. Like his was his Shiva Satora are not normal. It's, it's, for me, it was Shriz. Okay? Yeah, when I, was, when I went to Rav Simeyer yeah. once and I heard him talk, and he literally would just say like, it was just like for like a good like five like not five minutes but the entire speech but the entire time he was talking which was like yeah. maybe 20 minutes he kept repeating over and over he was doing this motion yeah. and i felt like he was mamish like pushing like kitrugan and like yeah he was like he's real these ruchnius things are really happening with him. and every time he would say Zulasa, he would like push the air so i experienced that like week like, after week for like five six years i was like, day after day i was with him fire I imagine like being I around that day after much. day for years being in a car with him, davening with him learning yeah. with him talking to him i still remember it that F, i don't know what he said i don't remember and he then spoke english us, but like he kept saying, F, does it make sense he spoke English to us? Yeah, no? yeah, he knows a bit. Yeah. He grew up in America. And he would, like, scre- he would scream it, like, in the middle of this. Sh- he was giving us a, sh- like a sheer speech, whatever. And then every, like, couple minutes, he would just shout out, Hey, you know, I'm yeah. a and I was like, "What is going?" No, but the but the could have used to, so that that's quite standard. The ruchli, but his his all of Torah was huge as well. Yeah, yeah. And that that's one of the things people think that these once again these these high siddiqim that they they they're not so into learning. They're into like the davening. Or, right, right. But no, the learning is like right, the, here's a, is a the curl. yisod. Yeah, the yisod that's of everything intense. he has. And and here we say that the chamor chamor we know Mashiach is going to row 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 chamor it's going to ride right, on right, a donkey. donkey and what's pshat with the chamor chamor also represents like the gashmias but being right. sholit on it and that's also the the chamor once again like similar to what you were saying before the emotional aspect is yeah. sort of removed that they don't they don't suffer Mashiach will ride a donkey ah gewaldi <laughs> no, but they don't donkeys don't suffer when they have a load on them I know. Like the, I mean, this there is, is a concept that you help uh, someone who has a huge load. Their donkeys are being if you overdo it, fine, they suffer. Right. But normally, a donkey is sort of built to carry loads, so it's it's sort of giving you bateva, right. a feeling of a, a malus and a voda is natural almost. Right. That you can learn and daven and, and put the effort in as right. part of your mitzias. You're doing almost a favor to the donkey. So, but that like the point of we're taking on that 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 trait. Of, right. Of working hard in Torah and spirituality right. as part of our, our, our essence, it's becoming right. becoming normal to us, right. rather than it becoming this whole like out, uh, out of comfort. Also, right, becoming our natural inclination yeah. is really to, to go to it, and we're not. That is part of hinuch that we hopefully right. mahanach ourselves over the years. The learning shouldn't become a burden. It should become right. something. Never never it should become something that we're happy to carry the all. We're happy to carry the load. Unfortunately, the yeshiva systems. They they force it. They like force it. Force it yeah. down your throat. Then it becomes. Uh, I think I think I told you this before. It was like Rabbi Zachariah Wallerstein. I remember I heard like He's a clip amazing. of him speaking. Amazing. Him so much. And one of the things he was saying, he was like, and this I've heard this I've heard this a few times. Like Rabbi Weinberger is also very big into this too. Like what he'll say is like, it is like the fact that yeshivas give report cards on learning Torah right. is the most backwards thing in the world. Like he was saying, like if you give a kid a report card for his study, his learning Gemara, and he gets a B. Or he gets an 80 on his Gemara test. Like, you, sh- you shouldn't be sending that report card to the parents or the kids. He's like, send it to God. Right. You know, like, like how could you put a great? How can you grade someone's mitzvah? Sure. Like, and how sure. can how can you how can you ru- ruin it? This guy's driving me crazy. Oh, sure. yeah, I think it's the same guy. Oh, sure. So that's the idea. The 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 all of Torah is like a shore. Plowing an ox, plowing the land, and right. the donkey carrying a uh, load. Cain led to feel mamish, and this was a big yeah. nakuda by the Balatani. As much as they called him the Rav, the Rav Shulchan Aruch, 
It was a big run, a big goal. Yeah. And he was also huge in tefillah. To yeah. the point he would dumb with his whole koyach. He said by him that his shtender used to shake and he'd like make holes in the ground and like wow. holes in, like in the wall, the intensity of it was Yeah. It wasn't like, you know, the Chabad Rebbe was very still and very quick governing. The yeah. recent one, yeah? Who was the Babacha Rebbe? Menachem Mendel, yeah? Zatzal, uh, yeah? Or Shlita, however you want to say it. But yeah. the, the Balatanya... We don't want to offend anyone. We do both. <laughs> yeah, we don't listen to our Tanya shit. The Balatanya, he, he, Baruch Hashem, he, he was fire, ish. And then all the old... Uh, Half of the most of the chassidim back in the day, like the Chose of Blin, also would make a hole. There's apparently a hole in his old shoe wow. that he made from his tefillahs and leaning against the wall. The intensity, like, it was like the Rabbi Akiva from the Gemara. They would move from one place to another, like bigger voter. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, there's different kufas in life, but the point is that you should put all your energy. Now, I, I feel for me that means intellectually much more now than movement. I used to put a lot of movement and slavas into my davening, and that's what I need to do 20, 30 right. years once I got f- into my 40s I become more inner more inward yeah um, so it's more Makes inner sense. fire so to God, serving God in monetary matters, I was talking about this also yesterday, looking tomorrow on. Stretching yourself out. With how you do business, to do business, honestly, we spoke about this yesterday with Kutumaran, but the idea that you should learn the halachas of Dine Mominus, which nowadays could be Kitsa. Yeah, and such is the duty of charity. We have a chiv every time we make money to give maisa, to give stuff. To stretch yourself to the utmost of your ability, he writes here. Yeah, yeah. Stretch yourself. Right, I was never, I never connected to the, uh, to the, um, maisa, like the 10%. Uh, 10%. It's like, a, when I felt like it was so like, too robotic? Too like rabbinic. Like, uh, this isn't like, I don't view it as like a, uh, you know, like separating Truma Meister, like a very, I mean, even separate Truma Meister, but like, I, I, I did never enjoyed the way some, you know, people would, would address it as if it's like this, like, technical, you know, very specific. It is, or halacha is, but also like, when it becomes just that, it becomes this, like, you know, like, we're, like, you know, not to saying, you know, the amounts, but more is it like how you approach it. But everyone right, has like, to approach the like, like Lefid, with Simcha and Yeah, Lafid have like every mitzvah. You, be, be, at some point, halakhically, we're obligated to give 10%. Right. But how we go about it, like, you know, because there's different levels of people say this is the big mitzvah, like Chachnas's Chok, or Chachnas's Kala, right. or then there's supporting B'nai Torah, and then there's, you know, the, one of the other things, if you don't have much Panasa, unfortunately, which is a lot of people know it's so, right. they're allowed to count their, their Panasa as, as uh, when they do Mufasa, Mufanes, their children, you know, Mufanes the children, they, right, that can yeah. also be a Chalik of the Mice, yeah, yeah, even though the Chachila better not, but... For a lot of people in, in America, I've heard that that's that's what people say about because the tuition. Oh, costs. it's so high, yeah. The tuition costs in America are. So you can use your mice. Five, ten. People ask, I go to Uman. Can I use? Can I count that as mice? Like Interesting. People ask right, all well, kinds of questions. What is considered right. mice? So this right. this comes up a lot. Um, the, the, but the main kudu I like what you're saying is that you have to do this. There's a sort of involvement in your sadaq with your right, heart. Right. You're giving. You're you're involved yeah. in it. You're not just. Right just being Yotzi it's it, like every mitzvah there should be some right. kavana and, and connection and but it's like some people like have mincha you know dav mincha and yeah. it's like do we have to ch- dav mincha or check a box like I, you know one of the hard things I, I, I had in mind when I donated towards the Shulam Lema event I didn't imagine I'd end up having to donate as much as I ended up donating because right. I thought I'd get more from the Olam but it, it, uh, I ended up giving quite a lot I, I, in fact I still owe him a little bit so um, but the idea is you have to you, you have to give it but Simcha and I was very happy to give because he did such an amazing job when he came he was there. amazing so you know I'm still owing him a little bit and I have to figure that one out but <laughs> Um, for I'm example, sure. right now the Nissan Black event, like that's that's one of the issues that's come up. They, they someone already offered some amount of money, but they haven't offered enough yet to make it like right. bud for Nissan Black. Like we, he's doing right. a massive discount. Like right. he, he probably wouldn't even charge if you really pushed him. But I think it's the right thing. Last time he came and did it for free. I think this time oh, he was, was here last time. He was here, Tavis. He went here a year and a half ago. Ah, I wasn't here. Yeah, so he went here. So, but Mr. Shem is going to come and we're going to make a very special event. He came Rabbi Nossin's yacht site. Ooh. But this time he'll come Rabbi Yom Kippur. And the point, I believe that the, one of the Nakudas will be to 
to uh, to give him to, to show across the top, you know, and and that can, right, people right. here do have. It's not like we're in a community doesn't have. So. I think it shows him a chorus of tov, you know, yeah. for, even if it's a small amount, because he doesn't, he's not asking for his standard payments, right, like right, thousands right. and thousands of dollars. He's asking for, you know, we're, as a team, we're asking for shepherds, so, and it's much less. But the point is that uh, it's just getting all this stuff done in a way that's simcha, and it's, it can get complicated, but that's, that's what they're having a meeting about it today, just working it out. It should be done in a positive way, and there shouldn't be any feeling of, like, lack, and, right. and the, the community shouldn't feel overly pressed. You know, because they do ask for quite a lot all the time. Right. So everything, getting everything in balance. This this Indian of charity, and it can get a bit emotionally involved as well for people. You know, who's they? Oh, the, the, the VAD, the VAD. They're meeting about it today. But this this is something which you know they, we're all trying to work on, all of us. Right. And um, we all have a mitzvah to do stuff. And no matter how small, I did a minish I did a picture today for my telfi. I never did this before. I did a picture of me holding a chetzi shekel, and I wrote, no matter how small. Do sadaka. It helps right. it. I, I wrote it helps it to fill in shine. <laughs> put on its fill in chat. Yeah. Because doing stuck it brings an awe to your face. It says right, that before right. damning. He talks about this here in Tanya as well. But then the kuda is that it should be with energy. This is what the Tanya wants. Everything we're doing should be with energy. With chiyas. This is elul. This is shonim or sukkas. Labored it. You didn't have to. It's like when you give sadaka to like a collector instead of just like. It's just to change the thought instead of giving it to him so that he leaves you alone. Yeah. You give it to him, even if it's just a shekel, a half a shekel, or just with a smile. Yeah. I had a rug with Samet. He's still around, but he should be gazen. He Man. always gave staka with simcha and yeah, smile. Just simcha. And I, that, for me, watching him it's give a sadaka was a le- lesson. Yeah. And it's similar matters that entail great effort. When one must struggle with the evil inclination, it's going to be a struggle. And it was which to seek the cool, the order of man's soul, claiming that he need not dissipate his money. So he, the Balatani, knew this more than any other. Because <laughs> he, he was involved with the funding, uh, sending a lot of funds to Eretz Israel. Yeah, he was involved in that whole Kupa, ah, uh, yeah, Rebbe yeah. Meir, Balanes, or whatever it was. And uh, the Hasidim were very big with that. It was Because remember, some of the Rebbe's went to Eretz Yisrael, uh, Karolitz, Avram Kar, he was a big Islamistic and Sadiq. Yeah, he used to double up with, with, with Sadiq, with big, big Aish. But the point is, he was involved with the Sadaka with Balatanya. That's part of being a manhig and getting people to, to give Sadaka. And he knew how much the Eight Torah would cool people off. Like Yosef Aaron just went to America and he said he couldn't believe some of the amounts people gave him. The funniest story he told me, he told me a bunch of stories, pretty crazy the stories he said. But one of the stories he said, a guy pulled out one of these uh, Bugatti or some sort of fancy brand wallet. What's the name? It begins with B. Not Bugatti, that's the car. Uh, Burberry? A different one. One of these... Fancy wallets. Yeah, yeah, really fancy, like worth hundreds and hundreds of dollars. And he gave him $10 to support the soldiers after he gave a whole speech. And he said, how much is your wallet worth? $350? The guy said, not piton. It's worth $450. Uh, he said, so that wallet is worth that. And you're giving me $10 from such a wallet. When I have, he, he said it to the guy's face in front of people. Wow. He said, I have to go support these soldiers and you know, feed them. You, you can give me $10. What's it going to do? Oh, my God. That guy probably might not have been too The guy was a bit upset. <laughs> but he was going around firing all these people there. Because he was, he couldn't believe how cooled off they are. Right, you know? he's like, I'm, he's not collecting for, you know, he's, he's just... He needs thousands of dollars to feed the soldiers. It's not, it's not a joke. Shalom and Nekdo, the kosher korev ma'od ala odem. It's very easy for a person to resist and subjugate his nature. Kersheishem el libo, shenetzach yeitze b'chozeh, b'yosem izeh. And when he considers deeply to conquer his nature, all the above and more. So we, the point is overcoming our yates, our inclination. Right. We said before we can try to tune our nature into good things, like to enjoy learning and to enjoy the Amelis, to get involved in Torah with energy. But we have to be real, there's going to be obstacles. And one of the ways it comes out is giving stakha, giving charity. That's hafko mamish. And in fact, to do the very opposite. Kol ma'od, misuri, misa. Um, and is much lighter suffering than death. Hashem Shemayin. So if you remember, right now I'm getting my cold shots. Right. Whatever, the, 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 the yunker, the guy can only come on Sunday. So that means a whole weekend and all my kids, everyone has to have cold showers. I feel bad for them. Yeah, but the point is that it's, it's still not, I always say to my wife, it's a kapara, let it be this and not something else. Yeah? Like, right. Let's be happy with what the Yisurim Hashem gives us. 
And right. in in this way, this is a really positive yisurim because you're trying to do something positive. You're trying right. to do stuck. You're trying to do chesed. You're trying to learn. You're trying to daven. You're trying to 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 do business honestly and you're overcoming your inclination and that's right. difficult and painful but it's a positive pain because it's leading to and it's as he says here it's much lighter their suffering than death God right it's like you're willing to you know people are i think the average person is like willing to give their life up to uh you know to die al kiddush hashem i think so I mean, we've been learning that. Right, it's like, oh, I remember this like classic like speech. Everyone's willing to die al kiddush yeah. Hashem, but they're willing to live al kiddush Hashem. Sure, sure, sure. No, I always got that speech. That's that's that, 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 that's a big story from uh, the Weinberg, um, no Weinberg and Aish used to always say. Yeah. Right, that's where I heard it from. From yeah. him, but yeah. then everyone repeated it. Sure. And then uh, somehow. They attributed everyone with saying it. The Chavetz Chaim said. <laughs> it was a Weinberg. I know. Yeah. Live out Kiddush Hashem. Or live out Kiddush Hashem. The Yisuri Misa. That's, that's, this is exactly what the Balatanya is saying. Yeah, he would lovingly and willingly have accepted the pain, oh, as you just said, Hashem Shemenu. Right. Mechab Rotson. So as not to be separated, even for a minute or yeah. a moment, to not, to not serve another God. So if, yeah, then certainly it ought to accept and lovingly and willingly right. um, exert himself and to bind himself to God's eternal bond. So this is a lambda shot in the kudu. If you right. think about it, right? If we're willing to but do that, it's it's a it, you have to think about it really, in, yeah. a, in a deep way that it impacts your nefesh, like you're learning the in Gemara. You, yeah, you're changing, but you're getting a like, Kenyan Torah. You're really internalizing okay. how the schmuck it is to give stucca, even when you feel like, well, I could do with that money. Right. No, break that nature and give the stucca. And the same with all these other things that we have a natural tendency. It's like a mind hack. That's really what it is. It's like we're yeah. It's like we're about to neuroplasticity. Go down and we're like dragging our feet in, and then I could remind myself. We're rewinding right now, the mind. There was a there was a galach, and the yeah. galach said, but bow down to this getchka, it would I kill you? I would say, take me now, right? But for since, but uh, but when I go to mincha, my feet is dragging, and my brain is thinking about when I'm going to get back to work. And this is, in a way, it's easier, right? I'm only going to Mincha. This way I don't have to get shechted by a yeah, galach. Yeah, yeah. And this is what we, we have to equate to. you get things. the galach? There was a game, Galachim. Galachim. Yeah. That yeah. was the game, the Galachim. It really, it really was cool there? Yeah, a game called Galachim. It was like basically freeze tag. Oh. Just, you instead of running away from cops and robbers, it was like the Galachim. <laughs> really? Yeah. You made it a Jew? Uh, it was just freeze time. We just called it Galachim. Oh, wow. That's what we used to do in Shul. Uh, like outside of Shul in Brooklyn, growing up in the Altaheim. What were the machine you using? Huh? On the phone? No, Galachim was just a freeze time. You'd run out of the shop as you play. Ah, I get it. You play, it was, it was imagination. Imagination. The Galachs coming together. Nice. That was like a real Jewish game. <laughs> that was a real Jewish game, yeah. Yeah, we didn't play that. We were like gangsters and right, no, robbers. and. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Have a good one.